Okay, so we've created uh, two pages in our blog. If I just come back to here, um, this is the overview. Come back to pages again, you can see I've got English and History. But the problem at the moment is that you can't see those pages. All right, you can't see them on my blog. All you can see is no posts, and that's because I haven't posted anything yet. All I have created is two pages where my content's going to go, and my posts, that is my reflective blog, that's where all my reflections are going to happen right here, which is my home page. So what we need to do is we need to add a little navigation bar so you can see my pages. So the way we do that is we come to layout down here, and you can see um, this little favicon and a nav bar and Meri uh, Morris American Civil Rights. These are gadgets. All my blog posts are going to be here. My blog up blog archive. I could um, add uh, some links to my other friends' blogs here. So you could, you know, teacher could click on those. Um, what I'm interested in is including a page navigation here. So this is add a gadget. So I'm clicking on add a gadget. And if I scroll down through some of these gadgets, see I've got uh, pages. So I click on pages here and drag and drop to change the order. So I want English and I want history. So that's, um, that's all good there. Uh, and once I am done there, I just hit save. And if I then come back to my blog and refresh it, you will now see my little pages here. So all of my English work is going to happen here, all of my history work is going to happen here, and on the home page is going to be my reflections. Now these are called posts. Let me make the distinction. There are pages and there are posts. The pages is where you're going to record maybe answers to questions and maybe some videos that you find and embed uh, and maybe some uh, in, in English you might um, uh, put in some uh, snapshots of um, filming techniques like you know extreme close-ups for history you might put in a timeline an embedded timeline or a um, a source uh, some source material or even a um, you know a time rhyme so um, this is where all your contents going to go but the reflection takes place on your home page so um, back here then, once I've saved this, you can see that in my overview there are posts there. So if, if I was to create a new post, um, I would click on that post title, Lesson 1 History. Um, you know, and I'll put, you know, today we looked at the American Civil Rights Movement. And you have the functionality of um, doing things like putting in a video. So it could be you might choose to put in a video from YouTube. So, you know, Martin Luther King speech. I have a dream. And you can see there that I could click on that and embed that in my blog there so um, and I might make some comments after that um, again you've got your standard sort of uh, editing tools here so once I've uh, finished composing this blog post I would always check it before publishing it so I would do a preview and make sure that my spelling and grammar and punctuation is all correct because we're publishing for a wide audience here so you can see here okay um, it's very brief I'm previewing this. I haven't. It hasn't gone live yet. Uh, I'm all happy with it. And you can see because it is a post, it's appearing in my home menu and it's um, date stamped. If I'm then happy with that, then I can publish it. And you can see that that pub um, has been published there. Now, interestingly, in our dashboard here, um, this little stat indicates how many times the page has been viewed. So our hope is that um, your teachers will go in and have a look at your pages and also other students. Uh, these are comments, so you'll be asked to comment on other students' blogs, so that's where they will appear here. So hopefully you understand the difference between your post and a page. 
post is more your reflection around what you've learnt. Your pages is your product, what um, things that you've produced to show that uh, you've covered some of the content that your teachers have requested.